that is flowing in the life of our mentor, Dr. Mark Murdoch. Daddy, we welcome you on stage tonight. Stretch forth your hand toward our bishop. These are marvelous words, words that bring healing. It's amazing how a single right person can wipe away the influence of a thousand wrong people in your life. Thank God. Thank God. Father, I thank you for the grace that's upon a precious man of God that we admire, we value. Tonight, we release the new season in his life. Let these books go around the world. They contain life-changing golden keys. Golden keys. Lord, it's been your anointing upon him that has opened the doors, kept the doors open, and his voice will be heard around the earth. Thank you for it. Father, all across the world where there's churches that need this, let the bookstores, let the pastors, let the leaders of the earth receive this revelation that you put inside of him. And this incredible book by his wife that contains secrets, Lord, I've seen them. You have given her revelation. You have given her wisdom and insight. And just like he has freely received what you have offered, let, them, let him find receivers everywhere. In Jesus' name. It is done. Praise God. Oh, it is done. And I tell you, these, uh, these are not just books. Let me tell you, they contain life-giving. They're, they're life-giving. They're really life-giving. And some of these were printed on the World Printing Press, weren't they? Weren't some of these printed on the World? Give the Lord a hand clap. Some of these were printed on the World Printing Press. Give God a big hand clap. This is, this is fabulous. This is wonderful. Praise God. Thank you, man of God. And it's my joy. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. And tomorrow, you're preaching at the Wisdom Center. And I hope you... I'll let God talk to you about which one of these books, but I have a couple of favorite there. Amen. Thank you from my heart. Hold your Bible close to your heart. Stroke it like you would stroke the cheek of a child. I love sitting at your feet. Now kiss your Bible. I love hearing what you say. Now just rub it over your face. I love knowing your desires. I'm so pleasured to obey. I'm so pleasured to obey. Your favor is like sunrise. Your favor is like sunrise. Driving, driving all my nights away. All my nights away. I love sleep at your feet every single day. Yes, yes, everybody like the choir. I love sleep at your feet every single day. The Bible says a man that doesn't sin with his mouth is not a sinner at all. That if a man understands the power of his words, if a man doesn't sin with his mouth, he doesn't sin. Powerful, isn't it? That if a man can keep his words right, nothing will happen adversely in his life. That the tongue is like the rudder of a ship that decides where it lands. My words create my lifestyle. 
My words create my experiences. My mouth controls my daily events of my life. Death and life. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. He that loveth it shall eat the fruit thereof. Stroke your Bible again. Now kiss it. Rub it over your face. Say, this is my wisdom. Say it again. This is my wisdom. You sitting there in Brazil watching. We've already got tweets from you that you're watching and all over the world. Wherever you are, get ready for the happiest night. Because the next few minutes are going to be transforming. They really are transforming. You'll never go back. How many is already used up yesterday anyway? How many is ready to birth a new future? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just say these words, my mouth. And I hope we keep the words you said too, my brother. That so blessed me. Made me feel a little old to know that all of you were children at that time. But it's... I tell you, your words are creating your life. Your words are creating your life. Your words are creating your life. Praise God. I always have people to talk to each other next to each other because most of them don't know what to say to one another. So we teach people what to say. So tell somebody next to you, say your only problem is your ignorance. Just turn to, turn to somebody and say your only problem is your ignorance. You may be seated. Praise God. Ushers, would you give everybody a special copy of the book, Seven Decisions? Take out a pen. I want you to write ten things inside this book. So if you will. Pastor James asked me to focus on some of the revelation God had given me about wisdom for wealth. And I love that subject because it's so seldom referenced in the ministry. If you do not have this book, Seven Decisions, lift your hand high. They'll come right to you. And uh, ushers, if you'll put a bundle at the beginning of each row and let the people give them out, that'll help. Who does not have a copy of this book yet? You do not have a copy? All right, I guess we've already given it out then. Good. I do want to mention, can you bring me those two gifts there? Yes. Those that have been planting, and there is something electrifying about the $1,000 seed. We had a pastor and his wife in New York got up at our meetings recently there. Had about 300 partners and shared how they had watched me on television. She said, did you hear what Mike just said? He broke the back of poverty with a $1,000 seed. He said, we don't even have a thousand. She said, then we'll borrow it. 30 days later, after their thousand dollar seed, their church received a donation of a hundred million U.S. dollars. A hundred million U.S. dollars. I love to share that illustration because I look across the audience and I see the jealous spirit on which certain people. So I can sort of differentiate between the Davids and the, uh, and the King Saul spirit. Jealous. But it's true. It's true. My seed controls my future. I can create any future I want with my seed. Something in my hand can create anything I want in my future. I'm a walking seed factory. Everything in me is a seed. I'm a seed. When I enter any environment, the harvest begins. Hallelujah. Not only are we seeds, but we're somebody's walking harvest. Just say it out loud. I'm the best thing that will happen to somebody today. Now say it again, I'm the best thing that'll happen to somebody today. Say these words, just say them aloud. Everywhere I go, I happen. And everywhere I happen becomes a fun place. Hallelujah. 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 I think every church ought to have across the front of it, joy happens here. Just say these words, joy happens here. Say it again, joy happens here. Praise God, praise God. Those who plant a thousand dollar seed into the Wisdom Center, I work for the Lord and what we're doing for God, be sure and go by the table because I have 
Three wonderful gifts for you. Three wonderful gifts. We have the Wisdom Bible, which contains 160 pages of all my personal notes over the years. The 46 Secrets of Abigail, Esther, Solomon, Paul, King, uh, David, Abraham, all of that is in here. Plus, you'll receive the 12 hours of teaching that I did live at the Wisdom Center called the Millionaire 300. Over 100 wealth secrets. We talk about the one thing that, that what's his name, Don, um, Donald Trump, Donald Trump. The one thing that Donald Trump puts in every contract that's made his family a fortune, and it's in nobody's contract. We add that here. So many, there's wealth secrets. Those who have what you don't have know something you don't know. God never told us that the devil could really, really mess us up. He said, your ignorance has made you messed up. The only weapon that Satan has is your ignorance. So all of that is in these tapes. Also the CDs. You'll also get the Wisdom World Reader. It contains over 100 of my books, The Law of Recognition, and it'll hold over 2,000 books. All three of those, this is not normal, as you know, Brother Yuri, so you'll have to make this special. This is not normal, but I called today and I said, I want to give all three of these gifts to anyone who plants a $1,000 seed. Your $1,000 reaches a million homes with the gospel, a million homes with the gospel. Turn to Proverbs chapter 4, Proverbs chapter 4. If you don't have a Bible, we'll sell you one. We've got many. <laughs> Proverbs chapter 4. I love Nairobi. I've spent a total of about a year in Kenya and Tanzania and uh, learned to fall in love with that place and the people of Nairobi. And we're thankful, so thankful for this opportunity to be here. And I love the singing that happened up here. I tell you, if you weren't happy when you came in, you're happy now when you listen to the anointing that's on that. 